Am I the asshole? For screaming at my autistic brother to get away from me? I grew up with an older brother who has special needs. My parents doted on him and taught me to put his needs above all else. Growing up, I never felt important. Everything I did was for my brother. I got high marks, my mom would say it's for my brother. I won a high jump competition, my brother got to keep the medal. My presents were suited for his needs. Nothing was ever mine. And I was never allowed to touch any of his stuff because that might upset him. Needless to say, I came to harbor a sort of frustration, maybe even resentment, toward this setup. I knew it wasn't my brother's fault, but I couldn't help hating him. I knew better to take it out on my brother or my parents who were really just trying their best. So I moved out as soon as I hit college. I've felt so free ever since. I visit them twice a year, for maybe a couple days each time, and therefore don't mind the treatment as much as before. Well this past Christmas, they decided to surprise me. They came over to my place unannounced and stayed for almost a month. Either all the penned up childhood frustrations compounded or his behaviors got worse, but I snapped by the end because he rummaged around my stuff and broke something every day some expensive, some of sentimental value. That last time, he broke the door to my room and ruined a lot my treasured possessions, I screamed at him to get away from me and that I don't ever want to see him ever again. I think I even said something along the line of wishing he never existed. My screaming upset my brother, and my words hurt my parents. He threw a tantrum, my parents were stressed. I made a mess. My mom has been calling every day telling how sorry she is that I felt that way but I shouldn't have held on to such cruel sentiments. She cries for hours on the phone. My dad called a couple of times telling me how disappointed he was in me and how insensitive I had been. I feel extremely guilty but at the same time, I meant every word I said. I knew it was out of my brother's control. I knew he probably didn't mean any ill. But none of the excuses matters to me anymore. Not the asshole. Also, I am very very sorry to tell you this, but I don't think your parents came to spend a month with you because they missed you. They came to gauge you to take care of your brother in the future. Your mother's crying has to do with realizing that that plan just went up in smoke, and your father's guilt tripping is an attempt to salvage it. I understand the guilt, but be forewarned. They want you to be the future caretaker. Not the asshole. They came for a surprise visit to stay for a month? Your parents are such huge assholes. They were bad enough to make you sacrifice your childhood to accommodate your brother's special needs, but to the invade your home for a month? They are so far out of line I don't think the line's even visible from where they ended up. Not the asshole. Not only have you been ignored for your whole life but you parents are so rude to come unannounced and stay for a month. Yes you probably shouldn't have yelled at your brother but a person can only be dismissed so many times before they snap. BTW do you know what the plans are for your brother after they die? Really think you might want to check that now, as they are probably assuming that you will be his carer. Not the asshole. Your parents sacrificed you on their altar to your brother. You finally managed to create something for yourself and they turn up uninvited and let your brother ruin things. And then cry because you hurt their feelings. They have done a disservice to you and your brother. They may have tried their best but it wasn't good enough. Their best was to completely alienate their own child. Their best makes them think that you should just put up with them ruining everything in your life forever. They don't get to make you feel bad that they failed you. Not the asshole. You were basically forgotten and your parents prioritized his special needs over your own needs. As someone who grew up in a family with a special needs sibling, you're treated as more of a problem than part of the family. Not the asshole. They did this. Who surprises someone for a month visit? Mom can cry as much as she wants. Dad can be as disappointed as he wants to be. They were good parents to him at your expense. Not the asshole. I might get flack for saying this but you have the patience of a saint. Hell, if my mom showed up at my door uninvited just to use the bathroom there's a 50-50 chance of her seeing the inside of my house and I get along with my mom you don't show up to people's homes uninvited, no heads up for a visit much less a month. Your brother basically destroying your house is next level neglect from your parents. Have they at least offered to help replace anything? Have you asked them to? Not the asshole. Your parents barged into your life and obviously didn't take enough precautionary measures to protect your personal space from your brother. Yes it may seem cruel to have blown up on him but we can all only be pushed so far. Especially since it's clear your parents never worked to try to establish a way to get your bro to not cross boundaries. Not the asshole. One can only be pushed so far before having a meltdown and it is sounding like this has been festering for several years. It is no wonder that you blew up. 
and who stays uninvited for a freaking month. That is really pushing the envelope. Consider this as well you may have addressed a future issue. I have a feeling they were expecting you to become his caregiver when they pass away so your outburst has put them on notice to make other plans for him. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise. And send them a bill for everything he broke. They enabled that bad behavior they can pay for it. And set a clear boundaries. They can visit with a clear invitation without your brother next time provided they stay in a hotel. Man, I really don't know about this one. Weirdly, I think the biggest asshole move here is showing up at somebody's place unannounced and staying for a month. That's just crazy. Not the asshole. But you should seek therapy for your own benefit. Your parents didn't handle things well at all and didn't respect your boundaries. They also set you up to resent your brother, even though they didn't deliberately do it. I would go LC while you work to sort things out. Your brother, as you know, means no harm. I think it would be very helpful to your healing to have your parents eventually sit in with the professional. Someone needs to set the record straight about what they did while you grew up. Not the asshole send them a bill for the damage and tell them there will be no healing until that at least is paid. Then block them once they've paid. You're not lesser and your feelings are valid. Please get therapy for your trauma and keep them blocked until you feel safe and wanting to talk to them or never unblock them again. How dare they all of it sending you the biggest mum hug possible. I'm disappointed in your parents and their utter failures to show you, that you and your space and your things matter. How dare they show up and, stay like they did. Raging on your behalf. Not the asshole. They showed up with the intention of passing his care off to you. Obviously they cannot adequately care for him anymore. Stop answering your iPhone for a bit. They are manipulating you. Not the asshole. But I'm gonna float a possibility. Your parents weren't just planning on staying for a month, they were planning to stay until your brother was comfortable familiar with his new surroundings home respite care. Please, for your own sake, don't let them into your home the next time they show up. Not the asshole I would not have opened the door. Not the asshole but at this point I think you'd be happiest if you cut all three of them out of your life. Please stop taking your parents' calls. It can't be helping your mental health to hear that every day. I have autistic children. And I sure as anything don't expect the other kids to make sure everything they do or get is based around their siblings. Your parents failed you. You said what you said because you finally broke. It's okay to feel the way that you do about your brother and your parents. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You are right, it is not your brother's fault, it's your parents because they had never taught him any boundaries. But since they still don't see how they did anything wrong, you need to set boundaries. Think about getting a therapist to help you with unpacking that did, or your parents' toxic behaviors will always hang over your own relationships. Duh. You don't take a disabled person to someone else's house for an unannounced visitation and force the house's occupant to tolerate their destructive behaviors. Up, I say this with all of my autistic heart not the asshole. To be honest, I would have knocked his ass out. If I pulled any of that crap, my parents would have chewed me up and spit me out. You were born to care for your brother. They are just mad that the conditioning didn't stick. Not the asshole and cut them all out of your life. Edit spelling. Not the asshole. After a day of getting something of mine broken, I would have been ready to attack. Your folks set you up to explode, and set him up to be exploded on with how inconsiderate they were in this instance and through your whole childhood. Your brain working in a socially acceptable way doesn't mean you're not allowed to have boundaries, and it doesn't mean you're incapable of being driven to a point of lashing out. Apologize for the pain when you can and then disallow all visits on your turf. Who invites themselves to stay for a month? Let alone unannounced. For this reason alone you're not the asshole. This was inevitable. Not nice but to by a long shot. To who shows up and stays a month unannounced? Info Have you ever seen your brother destroy his own things? How about your parents' things? How about other people he visits? If the answer is no, have a think about why that might be and why your stuff is on the table for destruction but nobody else's is. It's because, illness or no, he's been taught that you're not a person worthy of respect. Give up on these assholes, they're never going to change and you deserve much, much better. Not the asshole, who shows up uninvited and stay for a whole month. That's just crazy file a police report. I believe you can even though it's been a few weeks. He committed crimes in your house and he is a 30 yo man. Don't allow him in your home again. If they surprise you, slam the door in their faces. Then you should see a therapist because it sounds like you grew up with a lot of emotional abuse. 
That'll take a lot of work to unpack. Your brother's behavior is not due to autism. It's due to shitty parenting. Nta. Stay safe. Not the asshole. Your parents are trying to groom you to take over looking after your brother. Fortunately, it backfired spectacularly when you lost your temper. That's the real reason they are upset. Not all this bullshit about you harboring cruel sentiments and being insensitive. That's just gaslighting in order to guilt trip you into taking over your brother's care. You need to tell your parents that they will have to make other arrangements for your brother. Of course, they should not be allowed to stay with you again. Do not open the door if they make any more surprise visits. Not the asshole. I wanna say ETA but your parents coming uninvited to a person's house, and then leaving the special needs son to do whatever he wants without supervision. Then your dad having the audacity for calling you insensitive. Jesus Christ. I reckon apologize to your brother he doesn't really understand what has doing however your parenta do so go LC or NC with your parents for a while. Not the asshole. And stop taking their calls. They are trying to guilt you. They know exactly how bad it was at your house and what they did. Your mother crying to you on the phone for hours on end is emotional manipulation and, honestly? Abuse. I think it's best you go low contact with your family. If they show up at your house, don't let them in. Came over to my place unannounced and stayed for almost a month. I don't need anything else. Not the asshole. Not the asshole you're being abused. She cries for hours on the phone at you? Your dad phones to berate you? Honey, stop answering their calls. They are abusing you from a distance and controlling you. They want to break you down punish you and hurt you. The visit was to introduce their Don to your home so you could take over. You have to go and see. Op they were definitely doing a practice run for you to be your brother's caretaker, but based on the way they've treated you? FCK that. Not the asshole, and be sure to reinforce the boundaries you set up with them.